This activity called God Loves You and So Do I will allow the children to tell about someone important to them and why they love him or her. The children will decorate a heart that says God loves you and so do I. Then each child will discuss the person to whom they want to give the heart. You'll lead the activity like this. Okay guys, today we're talking about I worship God when I love others. Now we talked about a way you could show love to others earlier. Do you remember what that was? You can hug them. You can hug them. Any other ways that you can show love? You can give them a high five. You can give them a high five. Great ways to show love. Now let's think about our moms. What does your mom do for you that shows you that she loves you? She reads to me. She reads to you. Good. She cooks my breakfast. That is a great way to show you love, Jonathan. She gets kites. There you go. Definitely shows you love. David, anything your mom does that shows you love? She buys me presents. Okay, very good. Now, those are all ways that our moms show us love. Is there anyone else in your life who shows you love? Our friends. Friends? Grandparents. Grandparents? Sister. Sister? Aunts and uncles. Okay, there are a lot of people who show us love. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to decorate this heart. It says, God loves you and so do I. And I want you to think about someone special in your life who shows you love. Now, we named four different people who show us love. So it could be one of those people. It could be someone else. But what you're going to do is you're going to show them love by giving them this heart. Okay? So I want each of you to take one of these. Thank you, Shannon. All right. Now, we've got tissue paper and stickers and crayons and glue, and so I want you guys to go ahead and start decorating your heart. And when you get going a little bit, I'm gonna ask you to tell me who it is that you wanna give that heart to, okay? Your hearts are looking great. Oh, Shannon, I like how you made the O's, your stickers. Very cute. Okay, guys, your hearts are looking really, really good. Um, did you think of who you want to give your heart to yet? Who do you want to give your heart to, Shannon? I want to give it to my sister. Okay, and what has your sister done to show you love? She plays with she plays with you. It's older sister or younger sister? Older. Okay, good. Lorianne, who are you going to give yours to? Um, my teacher. Okay, and why do you want to give your heart to your teacher? Because she helps me with my work and um, she puts smiley faces on my test. Okay, so those are all ways that she shows you that she loves you, right? David, how about you? My little brother, Tim. Okay, and how does Tim show you that he loves you? He hangs out with me and is always very polite and Oh, okay, very good. Those are great ways to show love. Jonathan, who are you giving your heart to? My mommy. Your mommy? She loves me most of all. It, probably right about that one. Now, when you give your heart to this, this special person that you've told me about, I want you to tell them, thank you, mommy, for, and then for something that your mommy has done. Thank you, teacher, for putting smiley faces on my papers and helping me learn. Thank you, Tim. Timmy, for, Hawaii. yeah. So when you give the heart to that person, I want you to tell them why it is that you love them. And when you do that, you will be worshiping God by showing love to someone else, okay? All right, now, don't forget to give this heart to someone else this week. And when you love others, that's a way that you can worship God. So we're going to learn a little bit more about some more ways that we can worship God by loving others this week.